So guys, today I am going to discuss about asphyxia. So asphyxia is basically a Greek term in which A is uh, without and spexis means pulse or heartbeat. So asphyxia is basically without pulse or without heartbeat. The term means and asphyxia is basically exclusion of air from lungs. Literal meaning is without pulse and throb or throb. This is called asphyxia. So this is meaning of asphyxia. Now the classification of asphyxial deaths according to mechanism of production. The mechanism by which these deaths are produced. One is mechanical asphyxia in which if exclusion of air from lung is by ligature around the neck. So this is in case of hanging, in case of strangulation. Then second is exclusion of air by any means other than ligature around the neck like suffocation. Example of suffocation are smoothing, gagging, choking, and traumatic asphyxia or postural or positional asphyxia. Then exclusion of air by mechanical entry of liquid in lungs, like in case of drowning. So these are different mechanical asphyxias. Then second is pathological asphyxia seen in acute poliomyelitis, bronchitis, tumors around the neck, then various toxins like carbon monoxide, cyanide opium and barbiturates, environmental asphyxia in case of high altitude, insufficient oxygen in environment. Then traumatic asphyxia, examples are bilateral pneumothorax, pulmonary embolism and all. Then iatrogenic asphyxia may be there in case of anesthetic death. So according to time of survival, asphyxial deaths are further classified as rapid asphyxia if someone dies or survival is less than 15 minutes in case of hanging, throttling and choking. Second is slow or protracted asphyxia in which survival time is more than 30 minutes like carbon monoxide poisoning, opiates. Then this is mechanism of asphyxia. What happens that in case of ligature, pressure on chest and other causes, there is obstructed venous return, acute rise in venous pressure, back pressure in the venous system and pulmonary vasculature is collapsed, leads to various classical signs of asphyxia like cyanosis, congestion, particle hemorrhages may be there, generalized edema, maybe pulmonary edema, engorgement of right heart and increased fluidity. Why? Because this hypoxic condition is going to stimulate fibrinolysis. So there is increased fluidity of blood. So these are various signs of asphyxia. This is a vicious cycle of asphyxia. What happens that in case of reduction in oxygen tensor leads to capillary dilatation. Then further capillary stresses leads to capillary engorgement and then stresses of blood. This is going to reduce venous return to heart and reduce pulmonary blood flow. Further uh, deficiency in oxygen in lungs and thus it is going to further uh, enhance that asphyxia. So this is vicious cycle of asphyxia. Then these are various classical signs of asphyxia. First is action signs like congestion of face. Face may be congestion. It is red appearance of skin of the face and head. This is called due to due to filling of the venous system when uh, compression of the neck prevents venous return to the heart so due to venous engorgement then cyanosis blue coloration presence of deoxygenated blood in the congested venous system next is particular hemorrhages called as tardio spots or pinpoint hemorrhage most commonly in the skin of head and face especially in the lax tissue like lips behind the ear eyelids conjunctiva sclera of the eyelid Basically due to marked and increase in venous pressure from impaired venous return causing a small rupture of small venules and hypoxia of vessel wall. Now patechia basically this patechia uh, are patechia due to rupture of capillaries. Patechia jo hai, rupture of capillaries whereas they actually emanate from small venules. So why? Because capillary bleed would be invisible to the naked eye. So these are due to uh, so rupture of small venules. Actually, jo small venules are uh, rupture se hote hai, hai? Jo capillary. Hoti hai. Now this is cyanosis, peripheral cyanosis, and this is the, these are tidy spots, multiple particular hemorrhages are there. Now uh, there may be orbital edema and congestion leads to eyeball uh, looks prominent. Maybe bloody froth will be coming out from mouth, nostrils. Then various internal signs, same as condition of uh, 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 maybe visceral condition, maybe pulmonary edema or pulmonary hemorrhage may be there. Various particular hemorrhages may be there in visceral pleura. Maybe silvery, various silvery spot due to negative thoracic pressure with rupture of superficial supported alveoli.
then increase fluidity of blood so these are various particular hemorrhages or surface of lungs these were various silvery spots due to increase negative pressure in alveoli so these all signs are uh, were called as classical signs of asphyxia these are, these are not uh, longer considered as classical signs these are obsolete diagnostic quintet called well, Lester and Adelson called them obsolete diagnostic quintet because these signs are uh, may or may not be present in case of asphyxial death. In many cases of undoubted fatal as hypoxia, these signs are as, uh, absent. And conversely, uh, they are uh, they are often present in some degree in conditions that can be shown to be non-hypoxic in origin. So these are obsolete signs. Now it is impossible to make a postmortem diagnosis of acute hypoxia by measuring the blood gases, as rapid changes after death or indeed agonal changes may analysis worthless. So now the most important of all this is finding of a cause for air obstruction or other local trauma. So you have to find out uh, some sort of obstruction or some local trauma to diag chest, maybe obstruction of airway, postural causes or occlusion of external respiratory orifices and all. Maybe also we have to find out these other uh, findings rather than considering these classical signs of asphyxia. Now, uh, other thing is histopathological changes like maybe cell death, neuron, myocyte death due to ischemic or hypoxic damage, chemical marker in blood or vitreous such as hypogenthin levels and all uh, claimed uh, to be seen in generalized hypoxia. But these application of these techniques in routine practice has not been fruitful. So different type of hypoxia, uh, asphyxia we are considering in which first is hanging. So hanging is form of death produced by suspending the body with the ligature around the neck here the constructing force is weight of the body is in in case of hanging the constructing force is weight of the body so in next lecture we are going to learn about hanging so guys thank you guys and please subscribe to forensic extract and thank you